distinguished group at the Hall of Fame induction on Friday night. Coach Calipari, Coach Fano, Marcus Camby, Coach Derek Kellogg, Coach Cal. This has been a long time coming, I know, for Marcus. Your reaction when you heard that he was going into the school's Hall of Fame to join you? Well, you know, so deserving, great teammate, great player, took all of us, all of us, the university, the program, my career, my family, Billy's family, Derek's family to another level. And he did it with class. Um, just uh, this should be his night. The accomplishments here. I think he's a top ten college player in the history of our sport for what he did here. How are you? Everything going well this summer? So water for well. well. Other than we <laughs> win. <laughs> other than we got to win every game where I coach. Yeah, I'm fine. By twenty, we got to win them all. So I'm having fun. Great to see you, Coach Calipari. Coach Bill Bano was the one who Marcus Camby says he found me before I hit my growth spurt. Is that right? When he was playing in Hartford? No, he was he was about six eleven. But uh, you know, I remember getting the phone call, and even in that day and age, I didn't think there was any such thing as a sleeper. But people hadn't found out about him yet, and uh, I remember calling John and saying, "I found a kid I think could be the number one pick in the draft." And John's you know laughing at me, man. Get out of here. What are you? talking about but uh, he was special the first time I ever went to see him play uh, you know seven feet tall skilled he took a charge he dove on the floor uh, was a great teammate and uh, just a special special human being we've been to Africa together uh, you know he's done so much the first day he was in Portland I had 15 people from our organization come up to me and just rave about the type of person that he is and it didn't surprise me but uh, he's just a special guy man and I'm, I'm, I felt so lucky to be re reunited with him in Portland and I wouldn't have missed this for anything in the world. Great to see you. Is it nice to be back here in Amherst? Yes, it is. Brought back a ton of memories, man. A ton of memories. <laughs> All right. Bill Baino, thank you so much. Here's the man of the night, <laughs> Mr. Camby. Your reaction, first of all, going into the Hall of Fame. What do you think the emotions would be like? Uh, it's going to be emotional. You know, it feels good to be back. I haven't been back to the campus in a long time. And just getting here last night, going over to the Mullen Center, uh, seeing the locker rooms, the offices, and just smelling the gym. Brought back a lot of great memories for myself. When you think back on your playing days here, what sticks out on your mind most? It's probably the 95-96 season. Uh, you know, the way we started uh, against that big win against Kentucky and, and the way it ended uh, in the Final Four against Kentucky. Uh, but everything else in between was sweet. Uh, and we were the underdogs and no one really gave us a chance. It was just us, you know, Edgar and Carmelo and Dante and Dan and Tyrone, all of us, all of us put in a lot of a lot of work to get to that point. You said it's been a while since you've been back to campus. I, I know it must be a strange feeling. When you when you walk back onto the campus, what comes through your mind? Wow, uh, class? <laughs> All the schoolwork, no, but uh, just uh, it's all the great memories I had, and all the teammates that I played with, and, and just seeing, just missing the Cowboys atmosphere. You know, I missed that. I was here for three years. I really was into it. I was into all the sports. I went to all the football games. You know, even to this day, I'm a diehard UMass fan. So uh, I'm very happy to be here. And I'm happy one of our own is at the head of the head basketball team, and hopefully you can see a whole lot more of me now that he's here. Do you think it's strange to hear a head coach Derek Kellogg? Well, to be honest, I always knew, uh, you know, playing with him, that he had the opportunity of being a great coach. You know, he's always an extension of Coach Kell out there on the court. He always made good decisions, so it was a no-brainer. I knew he would be here. Coach Kellogg is here as well to finish out our, our <laughs> foursome interview. Hey, Marcus Camby was your teammate. I know he's been your friend for a long time. This is something that a lot of people say has been long overdue. Your thoughts about him going into the Hall of Fame? I think if anybody knows the character and the type of person that Marcus is, one of the greatest teammates, friends, and, and people, uh, genuine people around. And uh, to have some time to spend with him and rekindle some of our great memories and time together as basketball players and friends and on campus here has been, uh, it's been a good thrill for me and I think a lot of people around here. And to hear Cal say he thinks can be maybe one of the top ten basketball college basketball players of all times, I, that goes to my men ahead many times of how good he really was, especially at a place like UMass to take it to the Final Four and the many 
many uh, wins we had the, the previous two seasons. But it was really all your assists, right, when he was a sophomore and a freshman? Well, a lot, a lot like a lot of the guys that we played with at that uh, time, uh, from Tony Barbie to, to Harper to uh, Mike and uh, the whole crew, none of them seemed to think I passed the ball to anybody but Lou Rose. So <laughs> I, I blame Cal for that. I, I told him that, um, you know, Cal wants me to get the ball to Lou quite a bit. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. And thank you for joining us.